I am here with Chinto Jose Matthew. Now guys, you know, I'm very partial to Aldona and I keep telling Chinto I love Aldona, I love Moira, I love Nashnola. I think this is where all the action is and over a 5-10 year timeline, right Chinto, this is the place to be. Because you've got really nice people, you've got nature, you've got the fields, you've got the rivers. It's such an exciting, beautiful space to be. And guys, it's almost impossible to find land here even more difficult to find land near a field or near a river. So Chinto has been very kind enough to show me a property that is 1,300 square meters. The house itself is about 500 square meters. It's got six bedrooms. It's facing the field. It's surrounded by beautiful old Portuguese houses and it is in Aldona. Let's go. So you enter, as you enter, you've got these lawns. So that's typical of a go old Goan style uh, architecture. So you've got the lawns, it's flanked by lawns on both sides. And then you enter into the main, into the main living area. This is uh, like the Balkan. So people generally sit over here and relax and enjoy. Chinto, this is where we should have our drink in the, in the evening. Do you drink? Yes. What do you, what do you like? Mm. Just a beer. Just a beer? And no feigning? No. You don't like feigning? I like it, but I don't. You don't drink it. The, the smell of feigning, people are either very put off by feigning or they love it. But the trick is actually with feigning is you've got to mix it with a little bit of limka. And that kills the, and that kills the, uh, the bad smell. Okay, guys. So, um, yes. and Aldona is special for you also because you have created an architectural masterpiece. Thank you. So, yeah, it's simply reminding me that. So, guys, I built in and around this area. The last home I built was uh, sold to Ajay Jareja in the village of Panari. This is uh, again in Aldona. So let's let's look at this fantastic house and see. What's and also, in this is Rishat's village. <laughs> Welcome. So okay, so as you enter the house, right, you've got two bedrooms on both sides, which is very interesting. Come. So the first bedroom, the first bedroom is on your left, and you can see the sheer scale and size of it. It's fantastic. You've got um, black cement flooring. It is again, it's ensuite, right, and um, it overlooks this garden. So you've got a beautiful garden space over there. But I can tell you the sheer space, this bedroom itself is about almost 20 square meters. So very big and very, very large bathrooms. Fantastic huge space. Then on this side, You've got, you've got another bedroom. It's a sort of a mirror image bedroom. Big space. I think this bedroom could be larger than that. This is about 20, 23, maybe up to 25 square meters. Huge. Um, overlooking the fields. Once again, you've got a bathroom over there. But what I love about this space is that it's got literally greenery on both sides. So you enter, you enter into the lounge, and uh, lots of lots of natural light. You know, I like spaces. I think Goa is all about the light and about the greenery. And the architect has designed it in such a way that you have a lot of natural light that comes through. And this room literally catches fire because it's so bright. And here is where you sort of uh, advertise and accentuate the space by using great art. Um, and the house really flows because you enter at one level and then it drops down to this level where they, where they use yellow, 
you see this is yellow cement, which is typical and traditional of the old Goan style. Yellow or red oxide flooring. So this is yellow oxide flooring. And this is another space that is used mostly as a lounge. So you've got your artwork over there, your friends and guests can relax. And it flows into your dining area. Now your dining area should be apart from the kitchen, which is very interesting because this design they design this in such a way that the dining area flows straight into the kitchen. So the kitchen can service the dining area, but also what's exciting is that it's got a private access to the rear garden space. So you've got this huge balcony, massive balcony, again with this really bright yellow oxide flooring. And the balcony, the balcony opens up to the huge lawns, the garden space, which according to me is about 600 square meters, at least 500 square meters of landscape garden behind. It's got a swimming pool. Um, on the entire left hand side of the property are fields. On the right hand side is a beautiful little chapel. So it's all a sort of protected heritage area, all beautiful old goals, going homes. Um, I really like this house. It's well designed, it's modern, it's functional, and it can be used multi purposes. It can be each room can be let out, it can be let out as a commercial establishment. This is a fantastic dual purpose residential and commercial villa. So on the first floor, you've got four bedrooms. Now, if you actually look from the top flight of the staircase, you have all fields right in front of you. In the monsoons, this is completely green because the rain falls and it's connected in this basin and it's literally like your own private garden. So as you enter the first floor, you are flanked by two bedrooms on this side. So let's start, and I want to show you the sheer scale. These the bedrooms are huge. So look at the size of this. I know apartments in Bombay and Delhi that are smaller than this bedroom. So this is massive. And you also have a private balcony that overlooks the swimming pool and the gardens behind which is really fantastic. And on the other side, you've got, of course, this is ensuite, which uh, I think by now you understand that all the bedrooms, all six bedrooms are ensuite, big, generous spaces, nice use of color, vitrified tiling. So this is the second bedroom on the first floor, right? So you've seen two bedrooms down, you've seen one bedroom over there. This is the second, so this is the technically this is the fourth bedroom that I'm showing you. So again, really massive, huge space. Um, also en suite, also has a massive balcony that wraps around the front of the building and overlooks your garden and your entrance. So you've seen four bedrooms on that wing, now you've got two massive bedrooms in this wing. I particularly like this bedroom because it has an attached study, so I guess this is the master bedroom. Let's have a look. So you enter into the room, now the space has been used currently more like a lounge, but if you walk through, You've got a massive ensuite, which is really huge. Lots of natural light that comes in. You can see the tops of the coconut trees of the village from here. Um, huge space, kind of huge space for a, uh, for a bathroom. This is massive. And then you have a study area.
So I'm assuming that the owners have used this as a storage, but you know, you can use this as your office space. The office space opens into and it has a separate entrance as well. So now I've shown you five bedrooms. This one is the most unique. It is also attached to the common balcony um, and to that bedroom. So if you have a big family, if you have commercial and residential needs, then this space can be multi purpose, right? You can use this for different reasons. You can use it as a bedroom, we can use it as a lounge, we can use it as an office space, we can use it. Uh, you know, you can rent the space out. There's so much, there's so much opportunity over here. And finally, to the sixth bedroom of this huge house, if you follow in, you have this ensuite, just like a hotel. It's got a tub, it's got granite counters, and then you have this beautiful bedroom space. And finally, you walk into this shared balcony. Now both the bedrooms marry each other and they meet the confluence in this balcony. Now what I particularly like about Goen Homes is, it, I always say it has to be surrounded by other Goen Homes. If you're surrounded by flats and buildings, it loses its charm. So on the right hand side, you've got a typical old Portuguese house, really well maintained with a lot of fruit trees and gardens. Here too, we've got a chiku tree. So we've got the lawn below. You've got the fields on the left-hand side. Um, so this is really secluded, quiet, private, and just 30 seconds away from the Aldona main road. So fantastic from the perspective of an Airbnb, fantastic from residential perspective, fantastic from commercial. So you could turn this into uh, a little boutique hotel. So really guys, this is great value if you want to know the pricing reach out to me or to chinto and we'll share the details with you thank you so much Chinto, for showing us thank this you Richard. it was always a pleasure really appreciate it